Claimed Australian field hockey standout and now USM professor Tristan Clemens thought he had retired from the sport in 2018, but little did he know. <laughs> he joins us now on the 4 o'clock show to discuss his experience with the USA field hockey team this past weekend. And I mean, wow, this is a uh, tremendous. First of all, congratulations, Tristan, for getting called back into playing hockey after you thought you retired. That must have been quite a surprise. I, I read that you were you were thinking about maybe coaching sometime in the future in the U.S. because you have dual citizenship with your dad being from the States. That's right. But um, to be called back to play as goalkeeper. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I met with the coach uh, of the US team uh, about June of last year. And he mentioned uh, you know, that he'd be interested in me doing some consultant coaching for him with the goalkeepers. And then he realized that I had dual citizenship and he thought, well, let's think about playing. And so from that moment, it's been about preparing myself to get ready to get back to you know, international competition, which I guess culminated for me last week when we played in the the qualifying tournament out in uh, Kingston, Jamaica. And you won that one, right? Yeah, we won it in a pretty surprising <laughs> fashion too. So we went to a penalty shootout and uh, fortunate as a goalkeeper, I was able to make the save um, to win the gold medal for our team, which That's was That's so amazing. And after retiring in 2018, and uh, you went to Northwestern to get your doctorate and, and mm -hmm. you're on the staff at uh, USM and they are um, letting you do all of this too, which Yeah, I've is been great. really, really fortunate. <laughs> uh, so I'm in the School of Polymer Science and Engineering there at, uh, at USM and been very fortunate to have Southern Miss support me on this journey. And, you know, I think for them, it's a good thing as well because it helps to break some stereotypes around, you know, being in science, but also being able to pursue your sporting goals as well. So. I think that's great. And of course, this is just the beginning for this year, right? As far as your, your hockey. That's right. So we, we go away again in two weeks time to Pisa, Italy to play some test matches over there. And then beyond that, the, the main aim for us this year is to go to the Pan American Games, which is going to be in Santiago in Chile. Uh, and if we can go well there, we can qualify ourselves for Paris uh, 2024, which will be the Olympics. So. That is great. Now, I have to ask you because I know, I mean, when you're at this level, it takes so much training and to stay in shape and everything. And you had retired in 2018 and mm -hmm. to come back in 2023, how difficult was that? Were you still like playing a little bit <laughs> or uh, just for fun? Or, and I'm sure you, you've you stayed fit and everything, but mm -hmm. still that's a whole different thing. So how did you prepare yeah, again? Good question. It's hard to get field hockey in, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I'll give you that much. <laughs> um, but uh, we've been very fortunate to have some good support from gym and training and things like that. Um, I stayed fit over the, the period off from hockey. I ran a couple of marathons during that time, was able to run the Chicago Marathon, one up in Jackson, Mississippi, actually, which was a lot of fun. Um, and so then it was more about, you know, getting back into the shape of being able to wear the pads, save the ball again, and been working with a, a graduate student on campus who plays lacrosse, so very similar to hockey. He's been throwing some balls at me. And then getting to some training camps around the U.S. to be able to prepare myself before we went out to Kingston was the main aim. So. What did it feel like to be back out there it was, and play yeah. for the U.S. this time? It was phenomenal. I mean, I had to make sure I had the anthem right, obviously, before <laughs> the game, but I did practice and had that going. But, you know, to get back to that competitive uh, space at the international level was fantastic. And, you know, it's a different role for me now. I think as a senior player in that group, it's about, you know, bringing some of the juniors along for the journey and, and helping them get better. Sure, um, teaching them along and, the way. And to win the gold out there in Kingston, you know, it was fortunate. We, but we had, you know, four guys in that group that had never won a gold medal. So it was nice to be a part of bringing that Oh, that's fantastic. Fellas, yeah. Well, we'll have to catch up with you again as this uh, continues. And we're so glad that you're at USM and that you are playing for the U.S. That's great. Love to. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you so it. much for being here.